of the things with public domain content is that you really need to match it with an audience. There's a lot of content in public domain and there's only some of it that's going to be interested to today's modern audience. So in this training, I want to share four tools you can use to identify trending topics for public domain content. So public domain content refers to material that is not protected by intellectual property laws and can be used without attribution. And the best way to leverage this is to tie it into something that is going to become a popular topic or that is already, of course, popular and in demand. So you want something that is either uh, rising in popularity or something that is always popular. And there are a couple different tools that you can use that will help you identify these trending topics. And I'll go over these here. So the first one, two are Twitter and Facebook, uh, just social media in general. They can provide a list of topics and hashtags that are trending. And what's great with Twitter is it has a really cool trend watch feature. So if you go to explore trending, you can see here what is trending. And that will give you an idea of what's popular. So that's a great, uh, quick, easy way to see what is trending and popular. Another tool you can use is Google Trends. Uh, this will allow you to see what is popular and what has been popular. I like this because you can filter it not only by country or region, but also see trends from years past. So you just type in Google Trends and then you'll see here you can go and look. They'll pr bring up specific things, uh, examples, or you can just type in your own example and see what the trend is. So for example, let's say you have some public domain content on um, some recipes and maybe you're coming into the holidays and you want to see what people are looking for for perhaps Thanksgiving or um, Christmas and other winter holiday recipes. So you could look and see when they're going to be popular. So you could time maybe releasing some recipes on a blog or in a cookbook or something along those lines. Mention is another tool that allows you to pick out topics that are popular in social media. And you can also use it to research trends, hot topics, and just see what people are talking about. So what's cool about Mention is it looks at things like blogs, videos. So you get sort of a wider net than you might get with something like Facebook or Twitter. And they have a free trial and a free, very limited plan, but it is free and it's a good place to start. Uh, BuzzSumo is also very popular. It's a massive keyword research tool, and there is a free option that allows limited searches, and it has a lot of filters, and they have over 8 billion articles. So this is super powerful, and it is something that if you do think you're going to be doing a lot of research, you might want to upgrade to the paid version, but you can certainly start out with a free version. So as you can see here, you can look at things with content type, time period, social network, and even author. So this is good too, I think, if you have a, an area that you know is popular, but you want to get a little more specific. So example, you want to look at holiday recipes. Maybe you want to see what type of holiday recipes are popular, probably cookies. Uh, and, you could, and you could use that as eggnog popular. So let's say you have a lot of vintage eggnog recipes. You want to include those. You can use this to see if it's something that people are still really interested in right now. So remember, research makes the process quick and easy to actually get sales and get traffic to your content. And also popular topics, meaning evergreen topics, and that works really well with public domain content as well, of course, because the great uh, public domain content that's evergreen is stuff that's still going to be popular today. So if you'd like to learn more about how to tap in and leverage public domain content, you'll want to check out my Easy PD Profits. And this is going to give you five public domain blueprints and you can find more information about it in the description below.